honestly guys if you're having some kind of mental breakdown your man left you um your job sucks. <laughs> okay we're gonna do a get to know us just answer a few questions that i wrote in my journal my name is tahira my middle okay this is rashida tahira rashida oh, you? reynolds <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> Um, my name's Kyra Reynolds. I'm not about to give my full name. Her middle I'm name? I'm about to give my government name. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. My name is Kyra Reynolds. What's your middle name? Janelle. Janelle, yeah. It's spelled J-A-H, okay, like Ja. Ja. So I'm 24 years old. I'm, my birthday is December 9th, 1985. I'm 26. Yeah, such a yeah, reaction. Oh, yeah, because I was like... Mm -hmm. I'm 22, August 22nd, and I'm a Leo. I think I said I'm a Sagittarius. A true Sag. And background, where are we from? First of all, we're sisters. I don't know if we even said that. We did not establish that. No, we're friends. <laughs> we're sisters. Our background, our mom is um, Haitian, so from Haiti, and French-Canadian, so from Montreal, and then our dad's from Barbados. So we're Bayesian, Haitian, and Caucasian. Caucasian, yeah. But um, yeah, but we are we're born in Montreal, but we same mom, same dad. For those that are confused, yeah, same mom, same dad. We just don't have a lot of Similar same features. features. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Small eyes, check. I'm doing eyes. <laughs> live in Toronto, the GTA. And you don't need to know where. I mean, a little outside, but it's still Toronto. So. <laughs> um, have you gone to college? Thank you. Next. <laughs> I've gone to college. I actually graduated this university, year. University, actually. I went to university. My university journey is a hot ass mess, but I finished. So recently, actually. Yeah, I'm 2020. Cue the hoorays now. I think for me, I'm just looking to uh, explore explore my options and put my money towards something that I'm super passionate and driven and happy about doing as opposed to paying just money following. and being miserable and kind of following the trend. The um, herd. The, the herd, yeah. But I'm super, super like proud of her for even finishing. What sports do you play? <laughs> um, well, I don't play sports. throughout high school, I played volleyball and soccer. And then elementary school, I played a lot of soccer, but now we don't really play sports I like that. I played basketball for like two weeks. Love basketball. Oh. I don't know. I had a basketball phase. Did you watch Love and Basketball? Yes, I did. I did not. I did have a basketball phase where I was just like basketball players, basketball, basketball, everything. Basketball. She did have a basketball phase, but it lasted like two years, me if that. And Is that a t your tomboy phase, or you just like basketball? No, I just liked it, but I had a tomboy phase. My tomboy phase lasted a lot longer. She wore all green, if you were wondering. We'll insert picture here. <laughs> do you think you have? I do have pictures of me, my green That you're ensemble. willing to put That I will put out there, I don't care. I had a face, we all had one. No, we all had one. And um, I'm proud you of You are not things. sponsoring us, so I'm not showing <laughs> What are your life goals? I don't know why I put that question there. Ooh, that's so deep. My life goals, okay, when I think about what I want in the, like what I actually want for my life like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I just want to be happy. I want to be more self-compassionate and I want to be passionate to other just like stuff that I'm It's more about. like self-growth within yourself. Yeah, than like, like career. Okay. Yeah, when I think about my career, I'm not entirely sure, but I know it's going to be along the lines of like helping people, giving advice, something along those lines, but I'm not entirely sure in terms of like career. If someone were to say like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Like I'm not gonna start to talk about where I'm gonna be living and a uh, future spouse and all that other stuff. It's more so kind of what she said, like self growth. Yeah. I hope that I would have already traveled to X, Y, Z place. By then, yeah. Um, I, I hope to have had this much money saved up, maybe, um, you know, done something like a really special trip with maybe a family member, like my mom and my it's sister, like one like... of my sisters, sorry. For all my other siblings, what I feel like. But yeah, so things like that. I'm writing my own writing. Oh, have any books changed your life? The Path Made Clear by Oprah Winfrey. I actually just finished it today. And honestly, it's not one of those books that's like really hard to read because it's a lot of like- <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of, it's a lot of quotes. But it's mostly like conversations she's had with pretty inspirational people. So yeah, that's a really good book and I love it so much. Mine would be The Four Agreements. I actually read this 
like two months ago. Yeah. Um, and it's actually really good. It's actually a book that it's super short, I'm which sure I love. I'm sure know about it, but like it's one of those classics. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's such, such a, a good small book. book. I'm like, even if you don't like to read, just like it's good read it. in your everyday life. And it's something that I'm really, really trying to follow. No, and this is one of the the four agreements they're talking about, like follow these throughout your entire life and that's going to lead to- Yeah, in your relationships, uh, in your literally your fave movie. Mine's The Green Mile. Mine's Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, Green Mile. Those are really The Green movies. Mile is a really amazing movie. Yeah. But I think that Forrest Gump for me is just kind of more lighthearted, but also too, it does have like a bit of an underlying like, oh, like, to it. Meaning. Yeah, mine's not really lighthearted. It's very like- It's really intense, intense. Throughout the whole thing. And I would say, I guess I am kind of an intense person. I was gonna say, it kind of describes your personality. Like I would <laughs> like the Forrest Gump. <laughs> Okay, maybe it does, but I'm an intense person, I can be, but at the same time, like, I'm also, like, fun and, like... Yeah, no, you are. Lighthearted, but I guess I can get pretty, like, deep and whatever. Anyway. Which, I think it's a balance. How many siblings do we have? Okay, so, we are, like, we have the same mom and same dad, so we would say, like, I guess we just have, like... You have, I have one sister. She has one sister technically when it comes to full blood. But our dad has 14 kids in total, including us. So that means that we have 13, 13 or like brothers 12. Brothers and sisters. If we don't include, yeah, yeah. We include each other. Brothers and sisters. And we have way more girls than. Yeah, you heard us right. We said 12. Cause we're probably like, and we're saying it so casually. We're like, yeah, so like. Da -da -da. A lot of them live yeah. in Montreal. And um, yeah, I'm the fifth one out of the bunch and she's the sixth. But yeah, we like, we're pretty much, a lot of us are really close. Like some of them, some of us are not as close as others, but we're still like, we treat those people like they're our full blood. Like it doesn't matter. And like, I yeah. love my family in Montreal. Like I love my Sam mom, the, I love my, you know, my dad and all the- Yeah, we love our family. Yeah, so, so it's just like, but we live with our mom here in Toronto. Then where do you want to go? Where do you want to travel to? Like the next spot. Cause you've done Once some traveling. Once the borders are like, do you need more? Even when the borders open up, I think people are gonna be like, get out. Get out. Am I trying to travel right now? No, I, I don't think I. some time to travel. I don't think we're gonna just. I think there's gonna be a couple like risk takers or just like, they're like, 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 but I think yeah. I'm gonna walk, see and. Watch. I might just watch from afar. Yeah. I think though, I need to wait for a long time when this whole thing settles down because I would like to go to Vietnam. <laughs> Um, but another place, I guess, like, I really wanted to, me and her were actually planning a trip to go to Greece. Yeah, in like May, beginning of June. Which would have been like around now. Like we yeah. would have had the money saved up about now. We would probably book our flight, I mean a trip By to now. Italy. But um, another trip I really want to do is, Indonesia. I really want to go to in Indonesia. Like that's like a, that's a, it's in my heart. Okay, I feel it. I and you're gonna go, it. yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go there for sure. I have something people don't know, the people. I'll start light and then go heavy. <laughs> As I sprained my ankle once because Tyr dared me to jump off like this thing. That was in Montreal. I forgot about that. Like, I remember. That was so like clear as day. Yeah. And then I had to crutch on for the rest of my Montreal trip. It was super depressing. <laughs> my pinky's fucked. Yeah, you have Camptodactyly. Campto. Put it here. Camptodactyly. But yeah, so, so this is like a little straight. bit of a weird Anytime thing. Anytime she gets her nails done, they're like... They're like straighten and I'm like, it's broke. <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, it just doesn't go straight. For those that are getting triggered right now, just close your eyes. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a joint that's a little bit weird. And then I feel great too. <laughs> I said it! She said it! Yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It was more so because like... I'm surprised I was you said that. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal it's though. It's not. I, I, I genuinely never thought it was, but I knew it, it always It was for you. me. It was a big deal for me, like growing up, I guess, because I got like bullied over and stuff. And, and then I started to question like my intelligence and stuff, but it, it was so much more than just a grade being failed. Like, honestly, I think that the happening. system like failed me kind of because they should have- Kind of, they totally They kind did. of did. Yeah, like they saw that I was kind of just like a troublemaker. I was like always talking in class, like, I would never complete my tests. I would leave most of it blank. But like we had a lot of things going on in our personal life. So yeah. Like, so I like, feel like if they took the time to actually consider that, then that wouldn't have happened. Cause you don't like, nowadays people don't really fail grades unless, yeah, especially unless like super... those younger grades. Like no one really fails like first, second. Like, like I mean? those like, are such small little grades. That's like, how could you have not accomplished that? Like they, I just need like a bit of a boost or yeah. more attention towards other things. But mm. Um, and on top of that, yeah, I was going through a lot with my personal life, so like I failed that grade and I was like super sad over it and for so long I was like, I was so embarrassed to tell people. But now that I'm a 22 year old woman, I'm like, What's great what am you? I embarrassed about? Like, okay, like, like I'm cool. smart, which point? <laughs> um, for me, my stuff that people probably don't know, or maybe you guys notice it, I have a lazy eye. I have an eye that I can't see from. I was born only being able to see with my left eye. 
and this eye is pretty much a big gigantic blur and because I can't really see from it it's also lazy so if you ever see this eye just wandering doing its own thing she's like bye she's like I'm tired I'm tired I want to take she, a break she's like signing out for the day she's like I gotta clock out she said bye um that's what's happening with that um and that's why I like this side of my face more but anyways I don't know that's maybe cool. it's in my head but like I also don't really love taking pictures of myself because of this side of my face which is like something I have to work on because yeah because you consider this to be your good side this is my good side but also anytime I take a picture I can see I can see my eye even if it's not totally lazy I, I guess also too bit. like I feel like we're our own toughest critics as well because yeah. she's talking about her eye and I kid you we grew up together like we're sisters we've seen each other grow up like I we've been in the same household since we were born but I literally, I kid you not, I only started to notice her lazy eye. Maybe in like videos? No, like literally maybe like in 2019, like we're 20. There's some people who never notice. So them, I'm like, I don't notice who, who it. See me and they're like, where are you looking? Where are you looking? It's confusing. And I'm just like, just super... and then I have to be like, I have a lazy eye. And they're like, oh, well, like, what am I supposed to look? I'm just like, this looks really yeah. Oh, them. another fun fact. I was supposed to have dread. That's such a random, a lot of people yeah. don't know that about us. I mean, about me. Yeah, she was supposed to have dreads, but then we had a babysitter just comb them out. Like yeah, a, a we Haitian had... babysitter who was like, Was she what Haitian or Spanish? Haitian. I was supposed to have dreadlocks and then my babysitter was like, she has knots in her hair. Took a fucking comb and was like, Took it all out and then like that day I was just like running around with my curly hair and my dad was like what the hell <laughs> is on her head and it was my like hair yeah. and he was super super mad apparently yeah um and then they just never redreaded it so that's kind of crazy because I couldn't picture myself with dreads try it would I look How honestly it could have been it could be yeah could have been but it's not it's not I had bangs. That's just something people don't know. Insert picture. <laughs> I decided picture. to get bangs. Here. Um, okay, fave ne Netflix show. A money heist for a long time since it obviously became like popular. Yeah. I would say right now for me it's Good Girls. Even though Good Girls is not a Netflix original, like that's probably my favorite show at the moment. Craziest thing you've done. I don't think anything I've done is that crazy to be honest. You said you hit hitchhike once? Yeah, I hitchhiked, but I don't know how crazy that what is. What was that? I've hitchhiked I more than once. Sudbury went on a school trip um, with some friends, two of my friends, and then uh, I did it again in like Mississauga with one of my other friends who we were stranded. This is, I and when, like I was a lot, wild ass when I was a lot younger and like- You're kind of stupid? And really dumb, like 13, 14, 15, oh. and just being like, I, we need a ride, we're stranded, and they're like, okay. I've done a lot of stupid things, but I can't remember. Or crazy things. You said it, you hiked somewhere? Yeah, but it's not that it was crazy. It was just a crazy experience, but like, I'm not crazy for doing it. I mean, there there was a sign that said like, you know, at your own risk. <laughs> but that didn't stop me. Um, describe your first crush. My first crush. Literally, name, I actually remember. I actually don't mind saying his name. His name was Jalen. I liked him in like I think grade two or grade three. Explain why you liked him. That's probably the funniest part. Because he had glasses and I had glasses. And, and she's like, we both have glasses. So what is like, this? <laughs> we have you. I have glasses. You have glasses. So let's make this a thing. Let's make it official. But um, he wasn't interested, which is fair. Fair. But I remember <laughs> telling someone, and then he, the she told everyone, and then everyone knew, and I was just like, oh my god. Why wasn't he interested? I don't know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> How old were you? Like probably grade two or grade three. Oh my god. Okay, so my first crush, um, his name was Sad. I he actually ended up being one of the bullies. Yeah, he ended up being a bully, which is kind of insane. And I feel like a lot of times, like bullies don't remember being bullies. So a... he did come back a lot later on to say hello. I think so. We spoke like a lot later on, and then I was kind of like, what? And then that just didn't happen. But. Yeah, I had a crush on him. Why? Um, I think he was just like the popular kid in our grade at the time. We were like in grade two or three. So I was like, he's super cool. Super cute. Who's your celebrity crush? I would say like Jason Momoa, but not Jason Momoa and um, what's that movie where he's like, Lord of the Waterman? Man? Aquaman. Oh. Whoa. Aquaman. <sighs> yeah. Um, not an Aquaman, but in everything else, yes, I love him. He's definitely my celebrity crush. Okay, my celebrity crush is Channing Tatum in the movie Step Up. To be exact. Only. No, like nowhere else, only in Step Up. <laughs> <laughs> because he has like a certain like swag to him. And he has like, you know, like 
it, some it, kind of charm. Put Channing Tatum and step up right here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell me he doesn't look fine. Cause he's super cute. He has like, it's, I honestly think it's his personality and the way he's like acting in it. I like, I really like for me, it's, I mean, looks is everything, and not everything, but... <laughs> she said it looks is everything. Personality and, like, the way you carry yourself and the confidence is definitely a lot to do with, like... Your I, attraction. Yeah, your attraction, for me anyways, and for a lot of people. Like, I can look past your looks to a certain extent if you have this, like, you know, this confidence, demeanor thing going on. Like, um, Good Girls, the Spanish guy. Rio! He's my, not... He's my crush. Honestly, Jason Momoa is too Is him Rio? Rio, yeah. But isn't Rio from Money Heist? He has like a swag to him, and like his, his entire attitude, like Those that you have a crush that he on. Has with the woman, and I'm just like, Ooh. you're like, and when he's talking, he's like, you think, um, like he's like, so you thought you could just come in here and pick and choose? Like, oh my god! And you're like, yeah. you're like, okay. You got me, give me at gunpoint. <laughs> like, literally, he's you so want me to drunk. Literally, like you're willing to do anything for him. Cause he's just so- It's just a swag, but when you see him like real, his face, not everyone would be like, damn. But it's when he opens his mouth, you're like- You're like, mm. like, you have a je ne sais quoi. Yeah. So I have to say like, yeah, I get that. Okay, and then um, the last question was, do we have a pet? A lot of people don't know this about us too, because we got the we got our pet like after. Like, a lot like, of people have pets in high school and or elementary school. We got ours after we were we were graduated. Like in university, and <laughs> we actually instantly regretted it. As soon as we got her, we were like, my mom was signing papers. Me and Tihar were walking out with the leash, um, and she was a horrible leash walker too. We have to have her like on a harness now because she does too much. But <laughs> we had her on a leash, and she's just like, <sighs> and, and she's like, like pulling and shit. And we were like, sit we were standing on a ledge, I remember. I was sitting up and Tyr was standing and we were like, Tyr, I was like, can you hold her? And like, Tyr was holding her and it was a hot ass mess. And we both looked at each other and we're like, what do we just do? And then we're just like, we can't tell mom. Cause we're like, she's gonna be so pissed. Like, what do you mean you don't want a dog? <laughs> <laughs> like, like first I, day we were like, like literally the same hour we got her. We were just like, no. Like, <laughs> now we gotta walk her, take care of her. Like it all hit us. Food. We were not, like, we did not think about it, but honestly, now, we would never trade her. Never, never, never. Layola. She has the best personality ever. Those are our get to know me questions. If you guys got this far into the video, good for you. Um, good for you. We're really happy or whatever. Oh, Cheers I'm... to you. Do not show the <laughs> blanket <laughs> Um, Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of videos on our channel. It's basically gonna be mostly about, like, relationships and just, like, advice and traveling honestly just being very honest and being ourselves um and we're pretty like chill people so we want it to be kind of be lighthearted. but obviously there'll be times where it's kind of depressing maybe i don't know depending on what happens in our lives we're willing to maybe share thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next, next time video. <laughs>